Yes, you can see my screen. Yes, we can. Go ahead, please. Um. Okay, let me first put my camera on. Um, I think you are sharing your Gmail screen, Paul. Okay. Uh, is it on now? No, not yet. Can you see the screen now? Yeah, it's coming up. Yes. Yeah, we can see the screen. Uh, if possible, you can make it a little bigger. Um, yeah, that's great. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, my name is Paul Ewotu. I am presenting. My topic is the Great Commission and Believers' Participation a case study of Moroto municipality in Uganda. So the, the statement of the problem to, statement of the problem is uh, despite the biblical call for every believer to, to preach the gospel to the whole world, especially through evangelism, most believers in Moroto have turned out to be church attendees who come only to attend services and go back home and come back during the next service. The work of the Great Commission, such as evangelism, healing, carrying out deliverance, has been left out to church, pastors, the priests, the praise and worship team, among the few. It is therefore upon this background that the researcher, that is I, intend to find out the causes of the limited participation of believers in witnessing the work the, the, the work of G Jesus Christ. Now, the general objective, the objective of this study, the overall objective of the study is to assess the practice of the Great Commission and believers' participation in the Moroto municipality. Then, specific objective is now one to establish the cause of limited participation by believers in carrying out the Great Commission in Moroto municipality in Uganda to analyze mechanism undertaken by churches to involve believers in participation of the Great Commission, and then to investigate the challenges faced by the churches in involving believers in the participation of the Great Commission. So the research questions, the research questions were based on the objectives. They are based on the objectives. One, why are most believers not involved in in the participation of in the Great Commission, to what mechanism have been undertaken by churches to involve believers in participation of the Great Commission? What are the challenges faced by churches in trying to involve believers in participation of the Great Commission? Then the scope of the study. The study covered the three divisions in Moroto municipality in Uganda targeting over 10 Christian churches in the municipality. So 60 respondents were interviewed. So now I come to look at the significance of this study. The study will be justified in creating awareness of the problem and initiate a dialogue among believers towards generation of appropriate action, targeting improved participation of believers in the Great Commission to bring salvation, deliverance, allowing the kingdom of God to come to the earth. The results from this study will also provide highlight on the dynamics of churches 
in terms of how they witness the gospel of Jesus Christ. The information from this study will be of great use to churches, revival agents, and charismatic believers. The study will be relevant also to different stakeholders. Uh, to the church, the study will provide the data and information that will form a basis of how they can integrate the local believers in carrying out the Great Commission. To the rest of the Christians seeking to improve participation of believers in witnessing the gospel of Jesus Christ in Uganda, the study will provide them with the insight of how to involve believers in the participation of the Great Commission. To the local community believers who are the most affected by the limited participation in carrying out the Great Commission, the study will provide them with the strategies of how they can get involved in carrying out the Great Commission. To the rest of the researchers and academicians, the study will explore possible areas of investigation that may form a basis for future research. Then I have here Then the, the conceptual framework, uh, you know, a conceptual, a conceptual framework is a collection of facts that when linked together is the aim at generating a solution to a certain idea. So here I was looking in the conceptual framework, I look at the Bible as the weapon that every believer can use. The Bible is what they use to preach the gospel. So the Bible has the gospel of Jesus. So the gospel, uh, the gospel of Jesus talks about evangelism. Evangelism should bring deliverance. It should bring healing. That is the ideal situation that what could have happened. Then we should have the believers, uh, the, 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 the gospel and the participation of the believers. So when they participate, we expect uh, an impact in the communal life, in the life of the community. We expect that when every believer participates, there should be light in the community, there should be love, there should be unity, and there is faith. And then how should this be done? The witness mechanism, this should be through crusades, sales meeting, intercessions, among others. So I come to the findings. Starting with the, democratic, the demographic characteristics, uh, I found out uh, the, the participant 34 were female and 26 were male. According to uh, come to age, the dominant age was that one of 31 to 40, followed by 18 to. to to, to 30 which were 22 then followed by 41 to 50 there were eight and then 50 above were six then when it came to marital status the married were 23 and the unmarried the single were, were, were 23 and then others were 14. then coming to the level of education uh, those who have never attained an education Accounted were three, primary was seven, ordinary level was 16, advanced level four, tertiary institution eight, and then university were 12. Then when I come to the graphic on the, the causes of limited participation by believers in the Great Commission. So, so these were some of the factors that are found out to, to be causing limited participation. 27% said they were too busy to carry the work. 7% were ignorance of the word and the Bible. 8% said there was lack of funds to do the work. 7% uh, were conformed to the standard of the world. 8% uh, have believed in traditional, uh, have tradi traditional religion. 5% talked about economic hardship, then 5% uh, unbelief, and then others accounted for 33%. Then when we went to look at, according to the second of objectives, the mechanism in place that has been put to involve believers in the participation of the Great Commission, we found that missionaries, missionary respond and talk missionaries were eight, evangelism, 
five, crusades six, preaching eight, cell group nine, Bible study 15 and others accounted for nine. So we went to look at the challenges, the challenges that are faced by believers. That's the third objectives of the study. Challenges that were faced by believers. Respondent talked about, they talked about ignorance of the word, lack of funds, lack of interest, laziness, non-belief, non-commitment, others too busy, too busy, and then others. Those were the challenges faced. Then I come to the conclusion and the recommendation. When you come to the conclusion, the overview of it is that the overall objective of the study was to assess the practice of Great Commission and believers' participation in Moroto municipality. Uh, conclusion, the first objective. Sorry? Uh, you have one more minute. Okay, the, 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 the first objective showed that the main factor causing limited participation of believers in the Great Commission is that most believers were too busy in activities to earn a living. This was followed by lack of funds and believers believe in tra traditional practices, ignorance of the word, among others. Then in terms of the second objective, which was to analyze mechanism taken to involve believers the, of the Great Commission, six mechanisms, among others, were found to be in place, which included missionary work, evangelism crusade, preaching among others. Then lastly, the third objective was to investigate the challenges faced in believers in getting involved in the Great Commission. The challenges included lack of funds as the leading challenge, followed by most believers being too busy to earn a living, limited understanding of the word, laziness, lack of interest, among others. Then come to the recommendation. Based on the causes of limited participation in the Great Commission, there are is need for churches to Thank you, Paul. Um, that's all we have time right now. Thank you. So um, just a couple of questions, Paul. Um, yes. Yeah. One is, uh, how did you arrive at the conclusion um, that, that there was a problem, that people were not participating in the Great Commission? How did you arrive at that conclusion? Because that's the basis of your research right you you had that in mind and because of which you started the research but even before that how did you arrive at that conclusion that there are believers who are not doing this yeah actually according to the the environment here most believers view the work of the great commission as a special call maybe to the pastors to the priests to them, their work is to go to the church, go on Sunday, or yeah, whatever sure, day. Sure. Or... My my question is, how did you arrive at that? You know, when you when there's a research project, everything has to be supported by data, right? So so how did you arrive at that premise that work is not happening or believers are not participating? Uh, how did you arrive at that? So that was my question. Okay, the data the data actually showed uh the data showed in in my conclusion yeah uh, the, the the reason that they gave for 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 for, for, for non-participation others said they were too busy others mm -hmm. says it is expensive they they, they lack funds to to participate in it others actually don't believe they don't believe in god they believe in the traditional uh, religion so it limits their, 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 their participation they see it as if it's not something of of, of great re relevance and then others think it is not their calling it is the calling the calling of the the pastors the priests those who went to school went to theology uh, school so that, that 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 was what i based mm. on to, to conclude. Okay. Thank you. So uh, another question is, uh, were there any particular denominations? You said more than 10. So when you say more than 10, was it 11? Was it 15? Uh, the churches that were part of uh, this research? Um, would you have an exact number? Um, 
you said more than 10 churches i just uh, like when when i went through the report it says more than 10 churches where um so when you say more than 10 is it um like 11 15 20 what is it and now i i mean it started uh, i i visited actually 12 12 okay so um so when you say 12 churches like what is the denomination of this church um you're just trying to see um you know if that also has a bearing on you know non-participation what is the denomination of these churches uh, we have the catholics we have the pentecostal assembly mm. so do you have Baptist. a i'm sorry do you have a breakup of that in the in your uh, report like how many were catholic how many were just going through do you have a breakup of that no i have not included that break breakup okay. breakdown yeah so that would also help for you because um, then you would know okay certain denominations are maybe for uh, you know they are they teach on it maybe and certain denominations they're not really encouraging the congregation to do that so that will also be helpful yeah but um, yeah uh, i i think uh, what is uh, you know what is needed is how to arrive at that premise you know because when we when we have these questions to find out are you participating you know first of all if that is also a question which is there then we would arrive at okay some percentage up are actually doing it whereas this person is not doing it um, that would also be helpful right? right thank you Paul thank you so much you're welcome yeah Okay, so um, we have uh, Rebecca doing the presentation now. Is Rebecca in the class? Oh, yeah, okay. Yes, Go ahead. yes sir, I'm trying. Hmm. Um, you're still presenting the class. What you're sharing is this screen, the screen of the classroom. So it's not showing what happened. Hmm. Um, okay, who else is ready to present today? Um, Is Anita there? Anita Govakar. Um, Anita is not there, I see. Okay. Okay. Um, so, what I would suggest is uh, you know, two options, uh, Rebecca. You know, you forego the presentation, I mean, as in your PowerPoint, and then make your presentation. I can't mark you, I can't give you marks for the PowerPoint. Okay. So, but so yes, I can... tomorrow I'll share. I'm sorry? Tomorrow I will share. You will share tomorrow. OK. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else who wants to share today instead of tomorrow? Um, like tomorrow we've scheduled John Paul, Lyndon, and uh, uh, Tishring Dolma Lama. So anyone else uh, who would like to share today instead of tomorrow? You could do that. Is anyone ready? Do I see any hands go up? That's well. I'll share it tomorrow, please. <laughs> okay, Lyndon. John, John Paul. Tomorrow, Pastor. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, uh, yeah, we can we can do that. No worries. So, I think we'll have. Um, I, I don't see Leah Lama, Dolma Leah Lama, um, in the class, and also Anita is not presented today, but. Um, so you could probably inform them that tomorrow it'll be best if all of them um, present tomorrow, right? Um, okay. Okay. So we'll we'll wind up today, and then yeah, Lubega, yes, please. You have a question. Thank you, sir. You had the, directed me to send the yeah. I, the got, it. I got it. The, 
Yeah, I got it. Yes, oh. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay, so tomorrow we meet at 10 o'clock, 10 a.m., right? Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, we meet at 10 a.m., and we will go through the uh, presentations, right? Okay, so uh, the, all those who are presenting tomorrow, just try it out. So that is why I, I keep suggesting that you try it out. So you don't have to you know, experiment when we have the class. Please try it out, um, uh, presenting, etc. Get comfortable with that environment so that you can focus just in the presenting, you know, the speaking part of it and presenting the facts and not really, you know, be troubled by, okay, what do I do now? How do I move the slides, etc. So which is why we gave some time over the weekend for you to do that. Anyway, um, so you still have time. So figure that out and so that we don't have any challenges tomorrow, right? Okay, thank you so much. We'll meet tomorrow, 10 a.m. God bless you guys. Bye-bye. Thank you, Pastor.